More than 50 million women in America have participated in Girl Scouts during their childhood. Since it was founded 111 years ago, the organization has empowered young girls through skill-based learning, community service, and of course, by selling everyone's favorite cookies. This morning, Ali Nakamoto-White introduces us to Milwaukee Troop 226, a special group of scouts who call themselves Soul Sisters. And we say thank you, God, there we go. for the friends beside us, the, the food, food beat for us, us and the love amongst us. us. Amen. A warm meal is best when it's shared with loved ones. Oh, look at that big bowl. And for this lively group, oh, Carol's bread. a simple lunch means more than just a quick bite. Rather, it's a chance to celebrate love and the gift of friendship. I can't tell you the endless support. Endless that we have given each other. This is Troop 226, a group that formed 70 years ago in 1953. The women all attending St. Mary's Help of Christians. And this was our first communion picture. A Catholic grade school in West Allis. We all look like angels back then. <laughs> Spending time together, both inside and outside the classroom. I think those bonds that are forged in childhood and in high school, they, they're not easily broken. Through the decades, 11 of them stayed in touch. There's a lot of memories and a lot of connection, even though people split off and, you know, went to live their lives, went to college, had children, families, got married, all of that stuff. But that's why it's so special that we still get together. And it's all thanks to this firecracker <laughs> in a bright pink sweater. I wanted to be one since I was eight years old, a Girl Scout leader. And I, I got to be one right away. Fearless troop leader, Lorelei Drager. Well, the first time I met them, they were dancing on the tables <laughs> in the bottom of the church. I don't even know what I said, but I was shocked. <laughs> Girls, what, what are you doing? A 94-year-old powerhouse, mentor, and teacher. Mrs. Drager was a wonderful leader very conscientious about us, all of us girls. She was there for everything. From helping with life milestones. Even throughout my teen years, my first um, heartbreak, you know, she was there at the kitchen table with the coffee and, you know, consoling me and, it'll get better, Barb, it'll get better. So I just remember her as compassionate and fun. To keeping the girls on their toes. Scratch, scratch, scratch. On the back of the tent, well, what the heck could that have been? And all we could think of is, it's a raccoon, a bear, who knows? I mean, what the heck, we're out in the wild. And lo and behold, what do we do? We go and we run from the tent. But yes, it was our Girl Scout leader scratching at the back of the tent. Mrs. Lorelei Drager, that stinker. To leading the group to victory, making the local newspaper after winning the Marion Award, the highest honor a Catholic Girl Scout can achieve. Lorelei just taught us how to be good people. That's basically what she did. You gotta do make new friends, like you said. And as picture albums fill up with memories over the decades. Make new friends, but keep the old. It's Drager, who's the heart and soul of 226. I mean, she keeps us together. She does. You're not related blood-wise, but we certainly are every other way that's possible. They are family. They're like a family to me. <laughs> and I miss them when I don't see them. I got something in my pocket that, that belongs across my face. This is family. I want you to know. To me in a most unusual place. Us girls and, and Lorelei, we are all soul sisters. So I'll take it out and I'll put it on. It's a great big brownie smile.